Hi everyone. We all know that COVID-19 in India is on the rise and apart from the age, diabetes becomes one of the risk factors for mortality and morbidity in COVID-19. So today, I, Dr. Manoj Kumar Shah, consultant diabetologist at Madras Medical Mission Chennai, will be presenting you a data on impact of blood sugars and mortality in COVID-19. So what are the available data at till date? The first one coming from Wuhan city, China, where 191 patients were taken from Zinian Hospital and Wuhan Hospital. In this study, they found that the non-survivors were significantly more likely to have diabetes when compared to survivors. It was 30% amongst non-survivors and 14% among survivors. The second from the CDC report from US, it was for 7,162 patients from March 2020. They found that 24% of the patients were diabetic among non-ICU admissions and in ICU, 32% of the patients were diabetic. And the third, coming from New York Department Health Report on COVID-19 fatality till 11th of April 2020, there were 9,371 patients taken into account and 37% of the patient, which is 3,490 patients, were diabetic. So, this is a world map of COVID-19 on March 30th and by now it is painted red all over. So this data is from US wherein a retrospective observational study was conducted from March 1st 2020 to 6th of April 2020. It was to look into the impact of blood glucose on COVID-19 mortality. 1122 patients were taken from 88 hospitals in US and all were confirmed positive by reverse transcriptase PCR. Now there were three groups in this. The first one was non-diabetic where the criteria was HbA1c should be greater than or equal to 6.5 or they should be on diabetic medications. Second was the stress hyperglycemia group where two values of blood sugars more than 180 within 24 hours were taken and their HbA1c is less than 6.5. And the third group were of non-diabetic patients and non-stress hyperglycemia patients. So if we look into the baseline characteristics, approximately 40% of the patients had a diabetes or stress hyperglycemia. If you look into this table, the group with diabetes or stress hyperglycemia were male, obese, had uncontrolled hyperglycemia and had a decreased renal function. Now if you look into the results, among 1,122 patients, 522 patients are still admitted and 500, 570 patients are either discharged or dead. Among these 570 patients, 184 patients had diabetes or hyperglycemia and 386 patients were non-diabetic. Now if you look into these 570 patients, 493 patients got discharged healthy and death was seen in 77 patients. Now among the 77 patients, people with diabetes had a four-fold higher risk of death or mortality when compared to non-diabetes. Now if you look into this table where it compares patients with diabetes versus stress hyperglycemia, although people in diabetes had a poor glycemic control, the mortality was approximately three, three times higher in the stress hyperglycemic patients when compared to diabetic patients. So to explain this, whenever there is a stress to your body, you have got release of cortisols, catecholamines, glucagon and growth hormones. As a result, there is a decreased peripheral usage of glucose and increased glucose production leading to hyperglycemia. This can increase your inflammatory mediators and cellular functions. Your cytokines, neutrophils and monocyte increases leading to morbidity and mortality. So with this study, it was clearly explained that if the patient has got uncontrolled stress hyperglycemia, he has got higher risk of morbidity and mortality. And hence, triaging them for early intervention and an aggressive management will be ideal. Thank you. Have a good day and be safe.